Hi, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making Mongolian beef. This is a recipe request from one of my subscribers. Mongolian beef is a very popular dish served at a lot of Chinese American restaurants, as well as being a favorite takeout item. So let's get started. So let's review the ingredients. I have beef, green onions, ginger, garlic, chili peppers, baking soda, tapioca starch, cornstarch slurry, brown sugar, light soy, Shaoxing wine, sesame oil, white pepper, and low sodium chicken broth. Okay, let's get some prep work done. We'll begin with the beef. We need to slice it against the grain into about quarter inch slices. Okay, that's done. Let me put away the chopping board here. I'm using chuck eye steak here. It's a relatively inexpensive cut of beef. So I'm going to share a secret ingredient that Chinese restaurants use to tenderize tough cuts of meat, and that's baking soda. Baking soda breaks down the protein in the meat and prevents it from bonding, and it creates the tender, velvety texture you taste in many of the stir-fried dishes at the restaurants. So the proper ratio is one teaspoon of baking soda to one pound of raw meat. So what we're going to do here is sprinkle sprinkle the baking soda over the meat and we're going to work it into the beef slices. So we just want to make sure that it's evenly coated. So now we need to let it sit for 15 minutes. We'll put that aside and we'll go on with other prep. So now let's cut the green onions. I'm just going to cut it in half. I'm using quite a bit of green onions. I like to have that in dish. Okay, next we're going to peel and mince the ginger. We're just going to scrape the skin off. Slice and mince it. Okay, so the garlic we're going to crush and, and mince also. Okay, that's done. We're going to leave the peppers whole. We'll be back in 10 minutes to finish up with the beef. Okay, now the 15 minutes is up. Now we have to rinse out the baking soda thoroughly from the beef. I'm using cold water. I'm going to rinse it a few times. Otherwise, it leaves a kind of like a chalky taste to the beef. Okay, that looks good. So next, we need to dry the beef so we can add the marinade. Drain off as much water as you can. Uh, so now we need to dry the beef off. I have a paper towel here. We're just going to pat it dry to remove the moisture. Okay, we're going to put it back in the pan. You know, not everyone can afford to buy the best cut of meat, so this tenderizing method is great for budget-minded home cooks. Now, this technique only works for uh, bite-sized pieces of meat. Don't use it on thick slabs of steak or a, a huge chunk of meat. It's not going to work. And of course, if you're using beef tenderloin, flank, sirloin, or skirt stick, you can skip this step entirely. Okay, so let's uh, marinate the meat. I have some uh, white pepper, sesame oil, and some soy. I'm going to marinate this and let it sit for 15 minutes, and then we'll be back. Okay, 15 minutes is up. So the next step is to coat the beef with the, the tapioca flour. 
a uh, tapioca starch, sorry. We just need to make sure every piece is coated with the uh, starch. All the slices look well coated with the tapioca starch. Let me wash up and let's get cooking. Okay, so now we're going to um, fry the beef. I have a pot of oil. It's probably at 350, 375. The oil is ready is when I put a chopstick in and it bubbles up. So I'm going to cook the beef in uh, two batches here. And the oil is going to splatter a little bit. There's probably still a little moisture from the, from the beef. Cook for about a minute. Okay, that's ready. It's nice and crispy. Try the next batch. Okay, that's done. Turn the heat off. Remove the beef. I set this oil aside. The pan is set at like a medium high. I'm adding oil back in. We're going to add the ginger. The ginger, garlic, and the chili peppers. Saute it for like 30 seconds until it's fragrant. It's smelling really great right now. I'm also going to add the green onion tops. Okay, add a splash of wine. And now the, the sauce mixture. Turn the heat up and let this come to a boil. Okay, so now I'm going to add the cornstarch slurry. You don't need to add all of it. Just add enough to thicken the sauce the way you like it. And this looks good to me. It's enough to thicken the spoon or the spatula. Okay. That tastes pretty darn good. We'll add the green onions. Add the beef back to the pan. Just mix the sauce with the beef. Okay, and that's, that's done. We can plate it. it smells delicious here. And here we have Mongolian beef. Savor the tender, succulent slices of beef and serve this over steamed rice to soak in all the garlic ginger flavor sauce. Add a side of vegetables and this is going to be better than any takeout you can order. Enjoy! Okay, let's see if my taste tester likes it. Oh, she's taking her time. I think she loves it. Thanks for watching. Be well and be healthy. See you next time.